Hey Rebecca, how you doing? Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Yes, I am playing Prison Architect. This game is a little bit violent, uh, so I put PG-18 there because I am not going to play this game if if it is like it is. <laughs> and it's funny as hell. Um, wait. Wait, no. Let's see, shift tab. What was that? There we go. So, yeah, I had to put it PG, I mean, damn, I'm not going to lie to you, it's, I'm not going to build my own prison, I'm going to basically just do the campaign with you guys so that we can go through it together, and then once I've understood the game completely, how to do all the setups and stuff like that, then I will create my own prison, because this game is kind of like hard in a way, so I have to figure it out together, join an online game, wow, I can join online also, fuck yeah. Okay, so we're going to do, um, wait, um, let's see, uh, options, oh, uh, graphics seems fine, okay, so let's just do the campaign again, let's do the death row thing, I thought the death row part was really interesting, it's like, it's about this guy that committed crime and stuff like that. So we had to, basically, we've been cr contracted to build an execution chamber at this prison in time for the scheduled execution of one of their inmates. So the storyline of this game is really interesting. I thought it was really, really good. So what I like about it is there's a storyline for each prisoner. So let's do the, the execution one. So I had to figure out how to build and do all my stuff. So yeah, it's it's the graphics wise, I know it doesn't look interesting, but the game itself is really, really interesting. I think it's funny because these inmates they like to fight and kill and do all these funny things, you know. So basically now what I need to do is I need to build an execution chamber. And then I need to build a power supply to get to the execution chamber to work. Then the inmate that basically got um accused of murder and is going to be executed he is now in in one of the jail in one of the jail cells and he basically caught his wife cheating on him with another person in their house so he shot them dead but you will see that later in in the game this is the guy if you see this the guy with the priest this dude over here so yeah let's do it let's get it yeah, I'm, I want to play all these funny games because this game, um, the next game that I want to get is Oxygen. Okay, so now this dude's going to tell me, hey, this is tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at the facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. Which I feel is not his fault in a way because he did it out of cause. You know, he did it because the dude cheated on him, the, his wife cheated on him. With another dude, you know, fuck. I mean, if I if I caught my my wife fucking sleeping with another dude in my bed, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have done exactly the same shit. So, so yeah, you guys are more welcome to to swear whatever because there is a lot of violence in this game and it's funny. I mean, they could have done the characters a little bit better, you know. 
this is where I want to, uh, the, the new facility to be built. Okay, blah, blah, blah. The first step with uh, any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So now I have to build uh, this building on the, in the top here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility, build a large jail door into the south wall. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So now we have to go to um, foundation. So the last time I did build it with, uh, build it with bricks, and I'm going to do it with concrete this time. Okay, now they're going to come there, and then they're going to do that shit. Then I'm going to get a prison door. I'm going to put a prison door over here. There we go. Yo, German, Mr. Mm, how are you doing, bro? Thank you for coming in, man. Oh, shit, they're calling me. Okay, now they're going to build their, their, their stuff quickly. Your workmen are responsible for the construction of the buildings. Yes, blah, blah, blah. They will collect the steel and concrete from the storeroom and to take it to the construction site. Okay, I get that. They'll use these raw materials to build the foundation and framework of your new building. So I'm just giving you a little insight on the game and how, how it's done so that you guys, if you guys ever decide to buy this game, it's quite interesting. Yo, Elliot, my man. How are you, bro? How are you, man? So yeah, so I'm con uh, Elliot, I'm doing the, the campaign. I'm busy building my execution facility um, due to the fact that one of the guys did uh, commit crime. So... What the fuck are they doing? Okay, so yeah. Awesome, man. I'm glad you're doing good. Okay, there we go. Foundation is done. Jail cell door is done. So now I need to uh, build the... Execution room and the, the holding cell. So yeah. Okay, this is the slowest part of the construction, so you should plan ahead when building the new facility. While we wait, take a look around. Use WASD or the arrows to keep move around and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I got that. So now they're going to tell me to build a brick wall on the side, so I'm going to use bricks because I already use now cement to, to build a... The facility. Happy I finally had a good stream. Yeah, you did, dude. That was awesome. I mean, fuck, you had quite a bit of people in there. You know, uh, it was con It was like really good to see you streaming again, man. I haven't seen you stream in a while. You know. Okay, so now these fuckers are going to now build the walls for the execution room. This section over here is the execution room. So they're gonna come in there. They're gonna do their stuff. You know. So yeah. So Rebecca, how are you feeling? How's your tummy? How's how's your are you still a little bit nauseous? Yeah, let them do this stuff. Hurry up, man, hurry up. They should you know what they should upgrade in this game is they should upgrade the characters. They should make them a little bit more more you know, because they look so like like shields with a head and, and two little round arms, you know. So once I've done building the execution room and done building the, the, the room for the... Okay, let's go. Okay. Yeah, I know. I need two large doors. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Let's get the jail saw. One here. There we go. So now i got two jail doors. You see, I got... I bought this game and I bought another game. I bought... Um, the hospital game, but then Megan saw that I got it, then she said she wanted to stream it, so then I said, fine, she can stream that game, then I'll stream this game. No point me doing the same game as her, you know. I'll do that game in another time. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know what, dude? Your channel is growing fast also. I mean, you know, it's growing. Because your uploading video and the amount of time in each of your video is perfect just the way it is. But you should do your streams, you know, because your streams are, are where you get, like, most of the people coming in to chat to you and talk to you. You know, you got a lot of people coming in and out. With your video content, you get a lot of people. But now, you know what I mean? They all want to see you and listen to you and talk to you and stuff, dude. That's why it's good for you to stream, some, like, now and then. But if you could stream three or four times a week, that would be perfect, dude. Designate a cell in the smaller area where our condemned inmate will live, Okay. Then designate the execution room itself in the larger area, okay? So now we need to build um, a cell, okay? So now we need to, there we go, that's for cell. 
And then I need to get an execution room, which would be this room over here. Done. Now I got my execution room and I got my cell sorted. Those new rooms have required uh, requirements before they become for functional. Okay, so let's see. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. Well, I mean, this guy's going to get executed, you know. So this holding cell needs just more than just a bed and a fucking toilet. He needs a fucking TV. He needs all that shit. But do they allow me to put that shit in there? I doubt it. So let's get a bed. Let's get a toilet. I mean, I feel sorry for this dude, you know. Nah, I ain't doing three to four times a week since I upload every weekday. Probably just stream every weekend. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you know, you upload a lot anyways, you know. Okay, let's do the jail cell. I mean, the execution chair. So now I've got all three items already. Now we're just waiting for my little minions. Where are they? There they are. So here they are and over here. Let's go say hi to the inmates. Yo. What are you guys doing, eh? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What's up? There's Robinson. Let me see if I can find Elliot. I think Elliot's here somewhere. Do you see Elliot? You know what would be cool? If I could name the prisoners. Each person. If I could name each prisoner, you know, and then create the, the, the why they're in prison and shit, that would be fucking funny. Yeah, I got the toilet and the bed, man. Just waiting for it now. You know, imagine that. I could name each of my prisoners. I got, I got Megan, I got Mal, Rebecca, Elliot, you know, fucking uh, Alex. I got all my... my, my <laughs> I'm the warden, bro. Fucking kick your ass, man. Decide if I'm going to execute you for, for your commitment of crimes, man. That's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you could make, okay? It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. It depends on how, how, how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. Well, I care a lot about this dude, you know, due to the fact that he didn't murder just because he wanted to. And even though it was a pre-attempt a murder because he came there with the, the result of killing someone, you know, because he had the gun on him already. So my objective is like, fuck, man, this dude, he did it because his wife cheated on him. Ah, okay, cool. Cool, yeah, that, that sounds interesting. So, I'm going to give this guy some windows and shit, and then I'm going to give him, like, maybe a TV. You know, let him, let him have a, a, little, a little life before he, before he dies, you know? He needs some quality time before, him, before he dies. And the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material, like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Okay, so maybe I should do that. Outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. Cool. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, shit. Now we're going to the prisoner. Hey, bro. Sorry, man. This is the man in question, Edward Ramsey. A teacher once, would you believe, you know? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do our job. Once you are satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. Okay. So now I'm not going to do that yet because I would like to make his room a little bit more comfortable for him while I have to fix up his facility. So let's go to objectives. So let's give him a bookshelf, you know. So he, he, and some windows and shit. You know, so he's got some, some, I mean, we don't want to put a window right there by the fucking, you know, that, that's just sad to do that. So rather not. Let's just give him some, some extra windows. So he got these lighting, you know. So this bro can see right through that shit. Okay. So let's give him some lights outside. Um, let's make a pathway for, for the execution path. Let's put it over here. One light there and one light there. Okay, and then let's go to the paving. No, man.
Let's put some... Nah, mosaic floor, yeah. We can do that inside. Okay. So let's give him some paving stone. Some gravel. Where's that? Yeah, there we go. Sorted. Okay. So let's 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 make this floor on the inside a little bit more. Let's make it wooden floors. Okay, done. Let's make this part marble. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, I remember I played this game yesterday just to test it out so I could give it a to figure out how to do it and shit. So now what's going to happen is they're going to tell me to test the chair which obviously needs power so then I need to get a power I need to connect the power supply which is in the... Where is it? I think it's on objectives. Okay, so while we're doing this, let's check the rooms out. Let's check objects. So let's see if we can give this guy a chair somewhere. Like... No, let's... Let's put it here by the... There we go, you know? This dude's got a, a, a chair also. Let's give him like a... Burn. Um. <clears throat> ah, wait, wait. Let's take this out. Let's give him a sofa. Oh, yeah. Let's. Let's just take this. Um, this mantle. Stump this. Okay. How do you get rid of the garbage? Ah, fuck it, man. Okay, wait, whatever. Let's just go to bookshelf. Put that back there, I guess. So now he's got a bed, he's got his shit. I'll be right back, bro. Gonna go make food. Still didn't get around to it yet. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, you better get something to eat, man. Let's give this guy a TV. It needs a TV, man. Uh, let's take this toilet out. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. 
Yeah, 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 you. Yeah, let's let's just um, dismantle this. Yeah, let's get the toilet. Okay, now he's got a sword. He's got a TV by the toilet. Fuck, let him watch his, to his TV by the toilet. <sighs> Let's just dismantle this also. Okay. Okay, let's get the chair. Where's the chair? And then we put the bookshelf over here. So now he's done. Now he's got a chair, toilet, TV. He's got fucking all the resources he needs before he dies. Bro, I'm pissed for four songs in that song list got claimed even though it was supposed to be copyright free. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You must tell me which, um, which, um, which, what? You must send me the link so that I can also play some music while we, we're playing this game and shit. Okay, I think I got everything I needed now. Okay, now he's done. Yeah. Paving is done. Just to dismantle that. Okay. Get some lights. Yeah, there we go. Okay, everything is now done. This facility is now completely, superbly execution room. Got wooden floors. So let's let's put some stuff in that in the execution room. So if he dies, maybe we should put like a TV there or something. What do you guys think? So if he dies. Oh shit. If he dies, then he's got a TV. Can't seem to turn it his way. Nah, that's fucked up. I can't do that. Maybe we can give him some large windows and shit. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, there is another game I want to get, Elliot, bro. Um, there's another game I want to get. It's called Chef. Uh, Chef something. I guess the dude don't need to work out before he dies, eh? Okay, then that's it. That is it. So I spliffed out his room. He's got a TV, 
got a couch, he's got his books to read before he dies, he's got a phone here that they're going to put there, you know, we've got the lighting over here, you know, so when they get to the place, okay, let's go to our killer. Now this fucking guy, whoever this dude is that's taking the prisoner, he's a dick. Yeah, please, man, please do. Yeah, let's watch the story. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. Click to continue. Well, fuck you, man. How the fuck can he be? Yes, he's guilty for murdering. Yes, I don't, I don't um, condemn people killing people. But he did it because he was fucking, he probably snapped when he did it. You know? He even confessed one a year his description of what he did. Fuck yeah. It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Now they're going to tell us about the story. Okay, thanks, Elliot, dude. I will, I will definitely check it out. So now my question is, if I play uh, Spotify, can I play the music on Spotify in the background while I'm, I'm streaming? Or do I need to download the music first? There's it going. Check it. His wife, his wife and another dude's in the bed. They are getting their freak on. See, that's why I made a PG-18, PG eh? I knew that catch you two year. Edward. Ah! Don't just don't. What are you going to do? That's what I'm going to do, bitch. Murder. Murder all the way, bro. Didn't even have a chance. That dude got whacked. She got whacked. His wife got whacked. Now, any person in the right frame of mind would have done probably exactly the same shit. But he wasn't in the right frame of mind. You know? If he was, I guess he wouldn't do something like that. But because he did do it, because he wasn't in the right frame of mind, that's what he did. Oh, wait, wait. Claire's day, if you ask me, deserves every vault he's going to get. <laughs> that dude is a fuck nut, bro. Like, how the hell can you just say he deserves everything that's coming his way? All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. There, uh, yes, you're right. There, there's no excuse for it. But he did it. He did it. So, I mean... Who? It just doesn't make sense. If you love your, your, your partner for like, like really love your partner, obviously you're going to do something psychotic if, if you caught them with somebody else. Because you wouldn't want to see another man sleeping with your wife. You know? And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. Yeah, maybe it was double premeditated murder. You know what's so funny about this? This is almost like um, South Park. Just with a, a more cheaper version of the characters. He's done nothing but cooperate with authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. How can you say that? I mean, fuck, it's not like he's going to go out and kill you. Hey, bro, sit in your toilet, watch your TV, you got a couch, you got everything, man. Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep, blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's time for your murder, bro. However, there isn't one problem. The ex execution room isn't functioning yet because it doesn't have any power. So now I need to bowl the power supply to connect to the room and to the chair. To, to the bedroom and to the ex execution room so that there's power running. Okay, so now they're giving me the power supply. So now I need to, here's the power supply over here. So I need to be able to connect it from here all the way to the room. So some of the cells don't have power, so I need to connect it all the way here. 
to connect to the other rooms. We are now viewing the prison in utility mode, which shows, okay, each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Okay, cool. Let's see here. Okay, so this is power supply. Power is provided to the prison by the substation station which draws electricity from the national grid. Okay, so let's do this shit. As you can see, this entire wing of prison cells is without power all of. The lights are out. Fix the problem. We need to, to switch it into utilities mode to understand. Okay, so let's go to utility mode. And let's do this. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't carry, complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover the wing of the prison. Okay, so let's do this. There we go. Okay, connect the rooms to electrical, connect the rooms to supply. Okay. I need a capacitor over here. I'll just give it four. Four compa three capacitors. Okay, so I need to connect the over here. So Oh oh shit, no not that. Okay. Yeah, I think it's done now. So let's see. Okay, so I've got it. So quite an interesting game, guys. I, I mean, so far so good. I mean, I do like this kind of game. It's the I look. I like the whole setup of it. I would say they could change the graphics, make it a bit more three D dimensional. I mean, this game was what three four hundred megabytes. Which is nothing. So after I figure out how to play this game, I will build my own prison. I can name all my prisoners. Oh yeah. Let's share this. Quickly. Um... Prison.
Fuck, I got so many games I need to play, man. Hey, how you doing, Mary? How are you today? So the last piece is going to be built now. Just one more piece. It's Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too, okay? Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. I just did that. Line, you'll need to connect it to up directly with the main cable. Okay, so we're almost done. I think we should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use the chair. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds, make sure everything's okay. Circuit breaker in the power station, the whole prison dock. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates, okay? Yeah, but I've already built fucking three more capacitors. Okay, first we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Okay, I'm good. And you? Okay, cool. Um, I'm doing very well, Mary. I'm much better than what I was yesterday and the day before. I had actually a decent amount of sleep. Yesterday we went to the garden shop. Um, I bought like some flowers i bought a sunflower which is a sunflower is actually one of my is one of my favorite flowers so i had to get a sunflower uh, i hope that i don't attract any bees that will build a fucking hive here so because i've got like one two three four five six flower pots that's outside so we've got some like a mini garden outside going there and hopefully i'll get some veg and stuff growing some some herbs and stuff you know, some rosemary, some thyme. Okay, first we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting switch on the menu and that appears. Okay, then build three more capacitors. So we have enough power capacity to handle the electricity chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again. Okay, so now I've got that. Switch it on. I just built three more capacitors. So what the fuck do you else do you need? It still shows that it's low. So let's quickly go to the... Welcome back, Elliot. I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job and that's more important in our business. Okay, yeah, we did. Try not to worry about what happens next. Oh, I'm so sad. This dude's gonna die. I guess we did what we, we came for, you know? Okay, so my new mouse pad arrived. I need to go get it. It's fucking this big or fucking one piece, bro. It's like a 1.5 meter mouse pad, bro. I can help you. Confess your sins, bro. Mm -hmm. Are you looking for forgiveness? Yes, I am. I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with this thing, with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself free and whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. 
God will forgive you no matter what you have done if you ask Him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. The eyes of the law. That dude is... He's, he's going to get it. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though the world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon and He will have the final judgment on you. He's done. It's, it's a Dunsky. Time for you to commit your, your crimes. That bro didn't even have time to watch TV. He didn't have time to sit in his chair. Nada. So Mary, what's your plans for today? Get it over and done with, man. All right. Pull it. Edward Ramsey, you have been found guilty of two accounts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, it didn't show it. They could have showed the part where they actually executed the dude. Okay, Edward's gone now. Let's move on. Let's move on. I'm sorry. Chapter 2, Palamor. Palamor? Palamor. Palamor. Palamor Prison, yo. There's a crisis brewing at one of our other facilities. Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen. The priority is to put the fire out, so put it out. Stop any casualties and prevent more damage. Use the emergency seven button to, to, okay, blah, blah, blah. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay. Now I got them coming. Let's just see how they do this. Okay, so we've got the yard. We've got the storage unit. We've got the kitchen. Well, let's see these crazy people. Oh snap, they're all riding out. Let us out! We're gonna die! Can you guys hurry up?
Why are they not moving? Oh, that's how you do it. Oh shit, that dude died. Fuck! Hurry up, hurry up. Shit. Fuck me! Spray, you bastards! Spray! Ah! Get out of there! You guys are burning! The fucking prison is burning! Two death already. Fuck! H. Finally, fuck. Fuck me. I've yes, I've really fucked it up. I ready to kill two firemen. I fucked up big time. Shit, the canteen and everything is fucked.
Shit, I fucked it up. Guys on, on a crutch. It's Don Pal Palmamo. Palamo? Of all the inmates, it just had to be our mob boss. I need to hire some doctors. Okay. Use the bulldozer to to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. I need a doctor. I need a door.
Where's my doctors? Oh, so the doctors are here. Okay. Sorted. Dismiss the fireman. I don't understand. Okay. Click right mouse to order your fireman to move their fireman will aim the hose. How do you get rid of the dead corpse? Okay, there we go. Good work. Pretty much so far so good. Don Palmer. Palomar. Yeah. I think he's trying to say something. Which of you cock sucking faggot banging rat piss motherfuckers did this? No one did this to you, puppy. It was an accident. <laughs> Shut your stinking mouth and you and listen good, the both of you. If I knew which of you fucks started that fire, I'd snap your stinking neck. By the time is done, I'm going to die in this fucking bed. And there's a family business to run. The Palomar name is all we've got. Let's. F so you do the honorable thing, you dirty piece of shit fucks. Capish. <laughs> See, good thing I put PG 13. We know what to do, pops. We need to kick your ass and kill you right there, right now. I love the fact that it's got a storyline to it. You know, like each character is, like has a storyline to it. So I like that. Hey, there's the showers, Elliot. <laughs> Shh. Watch your fucking back. This isn't over, Nico. Without food, these inmates will be tearing the walls down within a couple of days, bro. We've got to secure the prison before we end up with a riot on our hands. Maybe we should wait for the riot. I would love to see a riot. This is the deployment screen from here. You can control the tactical deployment of all your guards. 
Deploy a spread of guards to all cell blocks and rooms assigned. Ten guards to, sta to stations around the prison. That should be sufficient show of strength for, for now. I also want to patrol around the inner courtyard where we will be building the new facilities. Okay. Okay, so anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective and you'll see additional instructions. Okay. So now I need to deploy some guards. So I need guards. Oh. Okay, ten there. Ten there. Okay, pretty much looks secured. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't mind checking out a riot, bro. I would love to see these guys fucking flip out and shit, you know? Okay, so I think that's about it. Huh? Ah, oh, fuck, I fucked it up. Wait, to assign guard to patrol route, click again on the existing patrol square, right click and drag to clear the guard patrols. Fuck, I made a mistake. These are guard patrols. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is right. Okay, so this one is assign guards to the sectors of your prison. Click and drag to create a patrol route. Inner courtyard. Where's the inner courtyard?
The yard, holding cell, shower. Oh. Oh, only 10 guards. Okay. Yeah, that should be it. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so far so good. Where the fuck's the courtyard? I don't know where the courtyard is. There's a yard here. Do you know where the courtyard is, Elliot? Open the deployment screen, then select the select, select patrols. Click and drag to draw your patrol routes. Okay. Okay, wait. Open the deployment screen, then select patrols. Click and drag. Click again on any square with 
in the patrol. First we need to rebuild the kitchen and we will need to install the server pieces, okay. Okay. Fuck, I better bolt. Oh fuck, I don't know how to do this. I'm lost for words, bro. Install at least four cookers. Build the kitchen approximately 12 meters square. Oh shit.
Yeah. I don't understand. It's telling me I need to build a foundation of 20. So I need a, a basically the flooring should be about 32. 32 meters, right? So the kitchen. I need an entrance. I'm lost, man. It's like... Okay, so foundation first. Fuck, man. I've been building fucking foundation now for the past... Wait, let me just bulldoze this shit because this is not working for me. There we go. Okay. Kitchen. Okay, 12 meters square. Yeah, there's a kitchen. Canteen. Twenty meters.
Okay. I need to build a wall. Oh fuck. Concrete wall, there we go. It's so much harder when you don't have any of the shit. Right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I, I think I got it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, four cooks. Where the fuck's my cooks? Where are they? Oh. Well. Oh fuck, I got six cooks here. What the fuck am I doing? 13 cooks? Fuck that, bro. That's water. Um, That's for power. Got it. Okay, let's do this. Install at least four cooks. Okay, I got four cooks. How many fucking cooks do I have?
There we go. Oh shit! They're all in the canteen. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, I need a fridge. Okay, fridge. Where's the fridge? Oh shit! Um, shit, oh snap, hey, oh shit, they're gonna riot out, fuck, okay, wait, wait, this is a bench, install two serving tables, install at least six tables, okay, uh, wait, uh, install a kitchen sink, where the fuck is all this shit? Wait, um, room? Uh huh. Fuck me. No, I don't need that. Install two serving tables. Okay. So at least six tables. Oh, that's a serving table. They're going through throw stuff. <laughs> Fuck man, I'm looking for Where is the Aha, there we go. Cookery, okay. So let's do a fridge. Okay, let's do cookery. Okay. Trying to figure out. Okay. That's it. Right? another fridge <clears throat> let's do another what there we go I need power. So far, so good. I 
I think the capacitor Oh shit! The fuck is going on in here? Oh shit, they're all rioting out. Ah! Oh, that's funny. Oh shit, I need to get water. So I need to get. The water pump station. Got that done. Now we got water in the kitchen. Hey, so far so good. I got my first canteen sorted. Okay, wait. Connect the sink to the water mains, okay? That's what I just did. Install two benches around each table. Two benches. Okay. I at least eight cooks. Okay, eight cooks. Uh, prove the canteen floor. Okay. Uh, there we go. Ugh, fuck me. Just to do a fucking kitchen for a fucking prison. Some get their marble flooring, you know. Fuck yeah. They said install two benches around each table. That's what I did. There's a bench. There's a bench. Water supply, fucking electricity supply. Okay. Just that one more thing. One more bench. One more. Okay, so. Maybe let's get a couch in that in that facility for them.
Okay, got a pool table. No. Nah, not there. Okay, they got. Oh, is that what it is? Fuck. I get it now. <laughs> My retardedness. Dismantle. 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 Okay, yeah, let me just dismantle everything. <clears throat> let me just do it over again. Okay, let's do this again. There we go. I'm gonna lie down in bed and watch on my phone. I'm tired. If I don't talk in a while, I'm asleep, but you'll still by be running. Okay, no worries, dude. Still got an hour to go. Okay, so now I've got the benches done. Okay. Then I need another TV here. I can imagine. You must you you must be tired, eh? Okay, let's get another arcade machine.
There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're coming. Oh shit. A lot of people. Okay, wait, I need more benches. There we go. Shit, there's a lot of people. Okay, they're done. Finally! Fuck! Okay, wait. Okay, let's get another fridge. You would not believe what I've just been told. Aha! Our guys were dumping some of the old food stuff. This discovered packs of narcotics in bottles of alcohol hidden in the crates. We suspected the Palomar Palomo family of smuggling into the facility for some time now, but we'd never been able to determine how. Okay. Some days it doesn't ra just rain, it pours. Okay. <sighs> Palamus eluded the, the FBI for decades, okay. Anthony Palamore, the Don's eldest son and natural here, Ran the day to the day operation. Okay, Nico Tamarito wasn't a made man, but was welcomed into the family business when he married the Don's only daughter, Vitalia. Vitalia and Sonny Palomar, the Don's second son, the runt of the litter, temper like a pit bull, and only half as smart. The Empire ran a narcotics trade from Maine to Florida. That was until Anthony got caught in playing Delicito. Shot dead by a jealous husband. Oh shit. Unfortunately for the family police at the scene found 12 kilos of uncut cocaine in Anthony's sports bag. And the Evans led straight to the top. Oh yeah. Get it. Overnight, everything that the Palomo family had built up crumbled to the ground. The FBI had everything they needed to ensure they'd all rot in jail. Oh shit, now the whole family's almost stuck in jail, bro. 
Which leaves Vitalia, the Don's daughter, the only living member of the family who isn't behind bars. We don't know much about her other than she was always kept outside the family business, but somebody on the outside must have been sending those drugs in. We could have quite a serious narcotics problem on our hands here, but we can't deal with that yet, okay? We've got our kitchen and canteen up and running. Our chefs will work on preparing food for some, everyone, which should cool things down. I'm concerned that the fire was clearly deliberated, deliberate and we don't want a repeat of that, okay? Install a sprinkler system over the new kitchen and canteen and connect them to the water mains, okay? All prisoners have needs. Those needs directly impact how your prisoners behave. Right now, everyone is starving, hungry, and that's what all the shouting has been about. Food is one of the highest priority needs, and you ignore it at your peril. A prison is just a few failed meals away from a wall-to-wall -wall riot. Okay, you can monitor the needs of all your prisoners from the needs report, which you can normally access through the reports icon in the bottom. Okay. Okay, bladder, blah, 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 is fine. Food is... On the red is critical. The so safety is not a high thing. Hygiene is bad. So hygiene is also critical. Um, and clothing is high. Luxuries is high. Sleep is not that high. So 40% on luxuries, 60% on clothing, and environment is 60%, So which is high. And yellow is just medium. So And everything else is active. Woo, satisfied. So all the green is satisfied. Okay. Got it. High risk. Okay, so the red dudes are high risk. Normal risk is the orange. Low risk is the gray. Inf okay. So these are the red inmates. Okay. So the high risk. Bronze. Okay, so I'm going to bold a shabby state which is reflected in the environment and clothing needs, okay? It's your decision as the resident prison architect which needs you, you will try to attend to the first, okay? Um, and hire some janitors to clean the place up, okay, cool. Or you can just ignore your prisoner's needs altogether and rely on force to keep your prison under control. I'll leave it up to you. I'm a generous, you know, prison door. Take care of your inmates' needs, okay? So inmates need... How the fuck? Uh, comfort. Okay, so this is the outside section so what i'm going to do is i put a gym here for them Okay, so now I need to put a sprinkler. Okay, so that means...
There we go. Okay, I got sprinklers now all over the canteen and the kitchen. Connect the canteen sprinklers to the water supply, okay. Okay, done. Okay, what the main? So everything is done with that. Woo! These guys are riding out. Hey, hey! Mary, thanks for coming back. Okay, so I've got the water supply. Ah, shit. Okay, so I could put the stuff in the walls and stuff, but not really. Okay, handle the food needs of your prisoners. Our chefs will prepare food for everyone and all inmates should be fed by the end of the next meal. So what? So what is the environment here? Oh, janitors. Kinda to What is my food need?
Genesis. Okay, food needs. Okay. Spotless. Look at all these cleaners. Boredom can be tackled quite effectively by installing televisions in each prison cell, or you could build a common room and place some TVs and pool tables in there. Okay, common room. Okay, so let's say the high risk. Let's go to the high risk. Let's give them a small TV. I don't know how to change this. They all got TVs. I mean, I don't mind giving them all TVs. Who's this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This dude's got... I 
I don't know what this dude is. All right. Guess he doesn't deserve a TV. All right, cool. No worries, Rebecca. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, handle the food needs up to recreation. Okay. All got a TV. Okay, let's let's build a recreational room. Pull this as fast as I can. See how long I've been streaming now. Two hours already. is this cleaners wonder if I've got basketball Yeah. 
So let's do an entrance. Yeah. Cool. So let's do the rooms, common room.
Um, Okay, there we go. What's the hot for? <laughs> okay. So far, so good. Okay, let's do this. So let's put a drinking machine here. Let's put some couches. Um, let's put some arcade machines. Where's arcade? Pool tables. Um, let's put some TVs. Some more couches. Wait, man. Okay, let's put some benches over here. Um, some more pool tables. More benches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some vending machines. Bins. Hold your horses, fuck. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I will get to you now, man. Why you keep calling, bro? Lights. Let's get an indoor gym. Some benches. Man, this prison is tight, hey? Couches. Vending machine.
Um, okay, there we go. What's up? You've shown an admirable dedication in taking care of your prisoners' needs. Well done. I know, I know. Okay. If you want to take care of then this need as well, you need to run a laundry service to gradually provide all your inmates with clean clothing. Build a laundry and hire more janitors to start providing clean laundry. Okay. So hygiene is now the main facility. Okay. Okay, but before we do that, we gotta connect the Okay, there we go, it's connected. Now I need to build a laundry room. So where am I gonna build the laundry room? Maybe here? Foundation. Okay, connect the canteen sprinklers to the water main. Didn't I connect it? Got one more. Yeah, there we go. A body. Okay, well, I first think it's a boulder. What's the name? So. Call the laundry room somewhere. I think it will be a uh I need a door. Okay. 
Okay, and then I need to build... Check the reports. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, water supply. Okay. Are you playing GTA 5? Nice. You're always playing that game. The laundry is done. Setting up the piping. I <coughs> need <coughs> <coughs> oh, electricity. All right, cool. No worries.
that. Yeah. Why is fucking it up? Let's try this again. Fucked up, man. Come on. So where's the uh, polo right there we go? Oh so he killed that dude. Let's do this quickly. Yeah I'm gonna stop got ten after this one then I'm gonna stop because I have to get going just now to work. <sighs> Give me a second.
Okay, let's just finish this quest and then then oh, Okay, cool. Thanks for coming back. You took your time. Is that what you think? If that I didn't mean for him to get hurt. I love him like he's my own father. The fire was meant for you. Ah, oh, no worries. Oh shit. Don't come to the saint. We both know you plan to take me out one day. Oh shit. Yeah, you always were a smart guy, Niku. Look where, where it got you. Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. I told you, watch your back. Ah, ah, oh shit. Help me, help me. The oh, fuck. They should really try and get this, this way better than... Have you met Frankie before? He's got a unique talent with piano wire. Oh... Uh. Oh shit, it's a lot of blood. Honestly, by the time he's finished, they'll think it was suicide. Oh snap. Oh snap, everybody's dead. All three of them died. Dead, dead, unconscious. That's what you get. You see something here. Yeah? Okay. Fantastic. Looks like the Palmer family is running out of members. What? You can bet the Palmeros were selling those narcotics. Palamores. The guards are telling me they've seen a lot of prisoners showing signs of withdrawal since the fire. I want you to search every prisoner in every cell. I bet we find Palamore drugs all over the prison. Okay, find all the drugs in Palamore prison. Okay, so how do you do that? Search each cell block by clicking on a prisoner within that cell block, then clicking search cell block, okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Search each cell block by clicking on a prisoner within that cell block, then clicking search cell block, okay? How do you search? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're searching now. Ah, oh, no worries.
Uh, booze. Okay, found. Let's find the red, red dude. Back in your prisons, guys. What the fuck's that? Is that blood? Susak. A oh, laundry basket. The yeah, washing machine. Okay, wait. Pipe needs for this one. Okay, and then ironing board. There we go. Go back to your prisons. But there are definitely problems with drugs and alcohol dependency. We need to help these men. It's the only way of curbing their activities and dealing with their symptoms. Start a drug treatment program in the infirmary. Our doctors will administer a chemical substitute that will help elevate the cravings in our ad addicts. Okay. Alright. For the alcoholics, there isn't a chemical substitute, so I suggest we start group therapy sessions. You'll have to build a new common room to, to run those meetings. Start new programs, go to reports in the bottom right of the screen, then programs. Anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective and you will see additional. Okay. And I must build a common room. Start helping the alcoholic recovery. Recovery room. on reports no oh, wait Click on reports in the bottom of the right of the screen, then select the programs tab. Program is called pharmacological treatment of drug addiction and takes place in the infirmary. <laughs> no but you will inquire at least two hours of work time set in a regime to permit prisoners to attend. <coughs> okay. Okay, so I need to go to reports. Programs. Uh. 
Uh-huh. Okay, click on report bottom right of the screen, then select the program tab. The program is called okay to no, no, start hearing. Okay. The fuck is that? That dude's got narcotics. Well, cigarettes. Eight chairs, okay, meeting place, eight chairs. Eight chairs. Why does it keep doing that? hours of work time okay the programs reports regime How do you... Requires an office, okay.
Okay. Let's do this, yeah. Very good. We've made a real difference here, and I think the prison is back under control. Okay. You can stay and improve the prison further, or we can move on to the next facility. When you are ready to move on, click on the pol Polaroid in the infirmary. Okay. That's it, dudes. Fuck yeah. Ugh, I fucking did my job as a fucking... Ugh. Okay, so I basically just sorted out this whole prison. I gave them a common room, you know, where they can work out German stuff, you know, did all of that stuff. Um, thank you guys so much for joining the stream. Mary, I appreciate you being here. Rebecca, Elliot, um, all the new peeps that came in also. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I uh, hope to see you guys to my next stream. Hopefully that will be in the next so hour and a, um, next four or five hours. I'll be streaming another game. I want to mix up my game content, you know, like I've got so many games I want to play. I've got Dead by Daylight. I've got Overwatch. I've got um, Tom Clancy, uh, Division. Um, I've got a lot of games that I still want to stream for you guys. So every day would be a different game, more or less, or sometimes two different games a day. Um, if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see, follow up on the next one on this game and stuff like that, then yeah, let's do that. Um, I just like the, the concept of the game. Because you build your prison, you make sure that all the prisoners are sorted out, make sure that they're not doing any illegal things that they shouldn't be doing. I like the campaign-wise because of the storyline to it, because of the cartel that's in this game. So yeah, uh, hopefully um, once I've actually understood the whole concept of the game, I'll build my own prison so that I can ha be, you know. That's going to be tough, building my own prison, knowing exactly how to do it. That's going to be tough because I'm going to need all the options like medical room, psychologist, uh, church, you know, I need a priest, I need doctors, I need chefs, I need a lot of things. So <laughs> it's going to be hard, man, assigning each person to the job and stuff like that because I need regimes, I need policies and all of that. So yeah, uh, let's see what the policies is like. Oh, I need to unlock that, you know. So it's going to be kind of hard, you know. So, but anyways, yeah, thank you so much, guys, appreciate it. I'll see you guys later on in the next five, maybe five hours, roughly. Um, and yeah, we can chat later. Peace out, Mary. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, lots of love to everybody. And yeah, and hopefully to see you guys in my next stream. Peace out.